What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and I'm now going to do a commentary on the Tokyo Invitational main event, and it's the two main men basically of Tekken. It's Ni, arguably the GOAT, going up against Arslan, who is also a GOAT, but you know, that, that guy has to stand alone on the staircase of GOATs. I mean, he's been at it since, I've known about Ni since... 2006? I think since 2006. I shit you not. He's just been a dominating force for so long. And here they go at it again. It's the grand finals. Ni is undefeated. Arsan has made it back from the loser's bracket. And it's the final showdown. And watching these two go at it is never boring. Where so this Arsan should be and good. And, and from the looks of it, Ni is going to stick with Feng Wei. And Arsan is going to stick with Zafina. So this is a matchup we've seen many times. And both of these characters are exceptionally strong. And it's been a long time coming to finally see this matchup, but these guys are finally This gonna is going to be OEM. very interesting, and, and Arsan has to climb matchup, far you know, here. He Arsan actually has to reset now against Ni. So, so even if he takes a, a, a first yeah, to three here, another to first to three like start. Lot, you know, so uh, this uh, is, and against Ni. This is one mountain to climb. Big counter hit. That should have been a guaranteed follow up. It was a bit late there. Nice punish. That was a perfect punish by Ni. While stunning 1-2 on uh, Zafina's down free, which is an unbelievably strong low. It is so busted, Zafina's down free. But both of these characters have quite a few busted things, believe me. Oh, floats him with the jab, and that's probably going to be wall. He went for the down, that down for three. I don't know if he choked there. I'm pretty sure he wanted Defense down for four free. Right. I think he pressed three. the wrong button. Unless yes, that's a setup I don't know board. about. But anyway, first round goes to Lord Ni. Nee. So three really well played Pakistan. there by both. Four for three there, plus yeah, the four on block. Down for three. No yeah, punch the, parry the, there, the, <laughs> which is a classic setup. Here, but Arsene unafraid just jabs. Get away from me, Arslan, you right? barely man! Right now, Ni is in control. Foot, foot, free pressure. Yeah, he's looking really comfortable. I mean, this is a character matchup. So that we're both being very careful here. Oh, gets it down for three. No, my God, he missed it. He could have. Is I don't know that. if Ni is nervous yeah, here. He seems to. Usually, I don't see him do bad combo routes. He doesn't drop combos. I don't know, man. I feel like he's uh, he's even drinking. I don't know. It's a bit off. Yeah, it's been, it's, a been a it's been a while since he had a, a serious tournament. Good yeah. one. Good one by Arslan. <laughs> All right, Arslan Ashford. Very nice. Gets that round on the board. These guys going back and forth. So 1-1 one, one here. Very good. 4-4-2. Four, four, Demon Paul knockdown. This is where you don't want to be against uh, Feng Wei when he's nose to nose with you, hugging you, kissing you, and just throwing those amazing pokes. Um, range zero pokes that no no equal in terms of properties like hitboxes, counter hit utility, frames, it's all like very over the top. And that's a perfect, so uh, literally perfect reads there by Ni. Every single thing worked out. He is putting in work. Ni has been waiting. So Ni up 2-1 to one here on our slam. Crucial first match. I guess, he uh, let it rip, but uh, so slow the second hit there, but interruptible by a 10 oh, frame. So well done by Ni. And now Ni is just wheeling away on the life lead. Look at that, man. Just slowly, slowly poking away. One, two, two. Down the wall. And it's all adding up, and Ni is again looking at uh, a second perfect like here. Let's see what he does. Arson Ash is going, oh my god. That's a nerfed Kempo. Yo, yo, I'm going to seal it away the entire day. It's still so strong. Pull it out now. How many P's did he get there? Look quite right there, even boy. until Ni dropped the double right perfect there, to seal perfect. the deal That's on the first match. Yeah. So just uh, absolutely perfect reads. Looked uh, super comfortable. Here, uh, was never in right. any trouble. But, you know, no one's Had uh, Arsene's timing second. down to a yes. tee. To a tee? Is know, that what you call it? A a Pull, uh, my English uh, only anymore, goes man. so far. Do, do but to the point where the he's just standing there and like, he's going to press here. now, Kempo free. Come, come on, Steve. So that Go. was insanely rough.
An arson yeah, off to go for infinite? Sure? Why not? Right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, it, Feng Wei certainly has God, better wall you. pressure I know, I know than Zafina. Zafina has the best movement for. in the game. I Might as well, you, uh, you know, try and use that as much as you can on infinite. Oh my God! So, yeah, I think game plan here cut. is going to be mix up my <laughs> right, timing. We got from Steve now. We're going to the infinite stage. Try to Let's win the spacing war. Can, can you incoming. keep Feng Wei out? Can you keep on the me out? Side, so he hasn't got a lot of time to work with. Round one. All right, all right. Fight. We're in the stage of infinite. Nice punish on one plus two. Immediate call out here. He can add a second yeah, kick to that, but Nien Mew? No, just poke away again, you're not the going to. Play defense, and that's yeah. what he's so good at doing. But the thing is, he's doing everything different at the same time. He is playing a different style of Feng than Commentator's too loud. Okay, so sorry. Like, you know, you know I just usually get people saying, we want to listen to the other commentators. You're so useless, main man. That's why I, I try to make it overlap, so you can listen to everyone at once. Nice low parry. And again, it's uh, it's looking rough here. It's crazy how aggressive he's playing too. He's Two pokes like, away. You know, the down forward one into the down three plus four. Really trying to open up and create Jab. a mind game here. Oh, he's trying to step rage drive, yeah. but yeah. Okay. Knees, uh, I think he did a jab there. Recovers so fast on whiff. Nice frame advantage. Definitely, we could have had it. We could have had it at Evo, but we didn't. Oh, okay, big horse hook forward one. Oh, what a call out again. It should be noted here that Arsan is simply getting outplayed right now. It's very evident. To those of you who are inclined to say like, Oh, Feng Wei is too much ball. It's like, Zafina is pretty much just as dumb. Pretty much just as dumb. What a call out again. I mean, oh my god. It's just perfection the way he's dealing with her 1 plus 2 string. Which is an unbelievably powerful string, but Ni is making it look bad. But it's just because it seems like he knows what Arson is about to do <laughs> at every step. Now he's going to add a kick. <laughs> now he's going to skip a kick. <laughs> and it's like, correct every time. He just has a 100% download here. Now, okay. Now, guess wrong. So this is gigantic damage now. Oki. Nice. Got an ex additional hit. Arsen can't get around here, but yeah. Can't count out me. Oh, there we go. Added the last hit on downford 1 to 1. Counter hit into follow up into dead. Arsen really needed a round here. So, question is oh, what a beautiful. That was so sick. Temple oh, free. So it's like, this is where we hope this is an adjustment by Arslan. Like, it carries oh, over. Oh, or was that just, that just oh, that moment, nice. Really he clutched out the round. It and it's what it looks like, because just Neek looks like he's still Dude, very much in control here. But Arslan fighting Ooh. back, has access okay. to a big rage drive here with so huge plus he's frames. Well so we know he's going to attempt this, two. he's going he to sidestep that. into it perhaps. No, throws it out, gonna plus gonna frames. What can you do with them? Takes a low. Takes a low. One poke away, oh Arslan's oh out, 10 hey! seconds. Nice step! Hey! And up for two. It's just ridiculous, like, the amount of tools you have to keep in mind when you're standing next to Feng Wei, and then he can always throw out that up for two. It's just... To those of you who don't know, that's a very fast, safe, on-block, evasive attack where he immediately does a huge step to the left and punches. It's, it's just ridiculously good. 
and one out of like a million solid tools he has when he's standing right next to you. So it's uh, it's rough. Uh, Luda, thank you so much for nine months of support, sir. We just had a babe. Thank you. Up for two is safe. I thought it was yeah. minus 10. Yeah, care. exactly. People read on paper. It's now. minus 10. I mean, it's punishable. But when you look at it in that. reality, but it's minus 10 with like huge pushback. Right now. Look at it finish this so it's like, you know, when you look at the new tactics and you're like, Fujin Rakan is plus 11 on hit. It's incredible. If it wasn't for the fact that it knocks mm -hmm. him back in like three meters what away. So you always have to look at pushback. If you only look at frames, you get only 10% of a picture, basically. It's like Hayashi's Ford for two, right? Minus 16! I'll launch it with my hop kick. Well, not so much, right? dashing in his face and blocking, like, come at me. What are you gonna do? My god, he's playing. up two to zero. That's like harassment or something, right? That's just... I mean, bro, he just believes in his defense oh! enough. Black one, yes. Get out of here. Talk Nothing to the is working out here. Nothing is working right out. Now, man. Beautiful from knee. He Everything knows exactly what Arsene's going to do. He believes in his defense enough to just be able to rush him down and defend in his face. Holy shit. Thingway's kit is just so he's damn stupid. It is. This, this is a big hit. But again, Zafina is super dumb wall. as well. <laughs> super dumb. Hey TMM, how's the weekend going? Right Hope you change the thing over is, to you know, Nee is so comfortable yeah, here that again, uh, it's it's no, it's not a fact or it's not guaranteed. But I wouldn't be surprised to the point where I would bet money on it that if these two swap characters right now, I've. I think Nii would still come out, come out on top. This, this is, comes down to basic core Tekken and mind games. Nii just knows, as a full read, on how Arslan likes to play. This would carry over into them switching characters. Nonzi, thank you so much for 25 months. I really, really appreciate it. And this is just like, yeah, Arsan is an absolute god. Absolute god. He's so talented and good at Tekken. But Ni is so <laughs> Ni is so good right now. But you can still see a clear difference between these two guys. And what? Arsan is arguably top two? It's like... Nice call out. And thanks again, Nonzi. <laughs> oh, the disrespect the stomp. Won't stop stomping on his corpse. Knee making a statement here. Knee <laughs> BM, yeah. That's basically the know your play stomps. Stop trying to look for the big, big damage with while signing ones and a one plus two. Yeah. Just small, small pokes. Small wins, let them add up. That's it. The big ones, the big ones definitely don't land so far. Okay, so we're even now in rounds. Like Arsa, nice hop kick. So th this kick. is a clear lead now. Unless he chokes, he should easily close out this round. Well, easily. Very nice low parry. So this is clearly adjustment by Arslan. I really hope he can get this match. That string is just... That string is working against him here, against Nii. Like 80% of the time, it just works against him. But he's still trying it. But again, it is a vital string because if he gets read on Nii's timing, he gets big counter hit damage, but... He's never scoring these counter hits because Nii just has <laughs> such reads on his timing. So now it's 2-2. Two, two. Please, Arslan, get on the scoreboard. I really hope you can get a match here. It's nice that he has two rounds in this match, but it's just so overwhelmingly Nii here in this grand finals. Feng has the options. Oh, nice. no, no, what no. A Has a read on the sweep. And look hey. at that. Oh, it gets the wall. Big damage. Have you got After me? your help. 
In the driver's seat, looking to take this! Range available now for Arslan! Can he do anything? Nice back there. He needs to set that rage drive oh, to even the, stand a chance. Within striking distance of the tournament. Oh my god! One more oh nice! Really clever oh, low pokes here. Oh my god, press right. Nice! Free free! Oh. Scarecrow! Oh nice! 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 Oh Locks for rage drive! <laughs> Seven seconds! Plus oh, frames! Come on Arslan! Plus frames! Oh nice! Oh Holy oh shit! Six step down for the one four. And my good. god, the that mental composure! Oh my god, the clutch! The wow, you can't count him, count him out. I mean, that must have been really that stressful, but he keeps so a clear so head, low pokes are really adding up, god. and then great yes. pressure with forward, forward, free, okay. rage drive. It yeah, calls him out on when he presses into he sidesteps into down for one for with punish. That was beautiful. And again, like kudos to him, clear headed, even with all of that pressure. But it's also the mental strength these bo both have, you know, in very very clutch situations. That's why they are champions, you know. Uh, they can handle stress really well. And that's uh, like 50% of what makes a strong competitive player. A lot of people just fail in tournaments because they just get so stressed. And when you get stressed, you start pressing buttons. And when you press buttons, you get counter hit and die. And again, like that, that's just a theme with uh, the, these really strong tournament characters. It's it's not uh, it's not about having these uh, big moves, you know, hell sweeps and uh, big mid launchers. It's about poking and counter it utility, and counter it always means usually uh, low risk, high reward, like Zafina's down free, for example. Uh, Copper Cat, thanks for 17 months. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, there you go. The one time, the one time he did it. Mhm. Mm now putting himself back to the wall. He's gonna have to be careful. He might put himself into another good position here. Oh, punish that. Rage drive. Oh. Oh, he tried the snake the edge time. on me. Okay, here we go once again. Knee on tournament wait, point. Wait. Two rounds up. Arslan needs wait, uh, a reverse I, I, sweep before the oh, for the tournament. Sorry, I have to go back. He might put himself into another good position here. Oh, punish that. Did Nee just Ray choose drive. not oh. to punish the snake edge? He's BMing him. I think. I think that's what it is. He's just, I'm going to just time you out. To try to go for the snake edge, not I'm not even going to punish. The time. He's waiting for the time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Once yeah, again, Nee on tournament yeah. point. Two rounds up. Arslan needs a reverse sweep before he wants to stay alive in this tournament. Nice use of the 4 4 2. Nee already trying to change things up. Using mm -hmm. more of the pressure tools, especially by the wall. This is where Bangway is super dangerous. But again, look at that. Arslan has switching the positions now. Mm -hmm. Using that 4 4 4 pressure. Caught him. Has him at the wall. This is a good position. What is Arslan going to do? He has to be very okay. mindful of Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's looking rough like here. Oh. Wait, Safi and Tari String, minus 13, blam, shoulder. So Arslan got a match, but then Nee answers back, and it is rough. It is rough. Nice, goes with the neutral hop kick, but the whiff. Here comes Arslan, 10 seconds left. What's going to happen between these two? Defense again, head from Nee. Oh boy. Seven seconds. Is this going to be the tournament for Nee? Is he gonna take it over Arslan? Down two, nice block! And a chop! Oh, that was sick! That was sick! Holy shit, the that clutch. That is of his teeth! That was crazy. Woo! Alright, the pressure. Knee, looking for attack. He's in attack mode. Oh, yes. Oh, he's definitely trying to go in. Has the life lead here. Arslan's gonna have to make some magic happen. Nee is playing Chase so defensive. Once again. 
Really taking his time here, not stressing for one second. He's mainly just punishing, it feels like. Nice forward, forward, four. It's completely even here. Oh, until that headbutt. No break of a command, bro! Oh, and now we clutch by Arslan. Go, go! Ten seconds. Rage jab. They have given one hundred. Oh my God! Oh, that makes sense. Man, Spag has a musty fucking beard now, Jesus. Manly. Uh, but yeah, that was... Uh, I feel like Arslan started to do better with time. I, I think he actually was starting to get reads and getting things done and handled clutch situations super well. Uh, but it was also apparent he was toying quite a bit. Certainly what it looked like. Um, he was very comfortable. Uh, relied a lot of, on just simply punishing stuff Arslan was throwing out. Like uh, 1 plus 2, Stanford 1, 2, 1. Uh, but that was... Uh, yeah, that was an excellent set. But, 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 but. Uh, Nia is looking <laughs> rather strong right now, as he has for a very long time. So Tekken World Tour Finals right now, it's certainly looking like Nia is the favorite to take it. I don't think anyone is going to say anyone else has a bigger shot of taking that. But then we can look at uh, Dark Horse players, you know, like Davud that beat... Uh, Knee at Tiger Uppercut, I believe it was, with his Alisa. You can always have stuff like that happening where a certain player with a certain play style, you know, Knee or some other top player just struggles to figure them out. But man, Knee is looking so, so strong right now. Uh, well played, Arslan. Well played, Knee. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see them play more at upcoming events. And I hope you enjoyed my commentary. Take care.